Hi, I'm Paul Scholl with Metlo Toledo and I'm going to show you how to do one of the, probably the most common things we do with real-time reaction analysis data which is to select a peak that's changing as a function of time and to plot that as a trend. So we can see here in this window is the 3D surface plot of the reaction. This is the acetylation of aniline and I've pre-selected three spectra so that really we can see quite clearly the peaks that are actually changing as a function of time. And uh, we can see here actually this is a carbonyl of the anhydride. Uh, this is a carbonyl of the, the aniline. And the easiest way to trend peaks, I find, is just to hover over the peak and then to double click. So when I do that, what I can see is automatically the trend shows up in the window, in the trend viewer above it. Now, you can also see what happened is that there are some dialog boxes that have opened up below. Uh, this is what we call the details box. This can be controlled uh, and toggled off and on using the details icon, as you can see here. So, but this is quite handy because this allows you to, for example, change the name of the peak so that it has more meaning. And this is the carbonyl of the aniline, acetylated aniline. So I'm going to write just carbonyl in here and the default is height to zero. Now for this particular peak, actually peak height works out well, but we can drop down the dialog box and change that. The other more common peak type that we would do is peak area, or peak group would be peak area. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with peak height in this one, but typically what we'll want to do is change the type. The default is peak height to zero, but typically we'll pick a single baseline point uh, that's handy because if there are any baseline changes due to say a temperature change that that won't be reflected in the trend because it'll be relative to a local baseline point so I'm gonna go ahead and select a local baseline point and you can see here that uh, it automatically uh, selects a local minima but we can change that if we want we can either do that graphically by grabbing a cursor and, and changing it on the plot or we can simply uh, type in a number and I can see from looking at this that there's actually no peak around 1900 wave numbers so I can go ahead and input that number directly here if I like and click on apply and that's it that's as simple as it is to trend a peak using ICIR software